Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy again, Unseen Assassin, and welcome back to another episode of Sally Face. In the last episode, if you haven't quite seen it yet, we finally got introduced to the origin story vividly of Sally Face and got introduced to the apartment that we are now living at. Sally is being introduced to the new characters, like this awesome boy named Larry. We also met some very creepy and interesting characters around like Charlie the My Little Pony Collector and all that fun stuff but regardless we're gonna continue on with the episode today if you enjoy this episode of Sally Face hit that like button and drop a comment down below and also if you want to see any content relating to Sally Face or anything else that I do hit that subscribe button and also hit that notifications bell it lets you know when I post any videos in the future without further ado let's continue on with this episode of Sally Face all right, so in the last episode, when we left off, we had this plan with Larry. He gave us a, I believe he gave us a walkie, yeah, he used a walkie-talkie in 402. He gave us a walkie-talkie that we're going to use in our own room to let him know that we're going to start the plan to convict Charlie of the murder of, I think it's Miss Sampson or whatever it was. We're going to go into his room, I believe, and try to find some evidence or try to find, you know, some sort of link as to why he committed the murder. So, we're going to figure that out right now. We're going to head on over to room 402. There we go. Alright, uh, that's the police officer, and this is our room. Um, I found something was in the bathroom. Leave it to be in our room, maybe, and then we can use the walkie-talkie. No, I don't want to leave my room. Alright, uh, let's go to our room. Uh, use the walkie-talkie in room 402. Okay. The walkie-talkie that Larry gave to me. I, I can press shift to call him. Okay. I'm in my room now. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna make the call. Give me a second. I'm still trying to work out the voices for the characters right now, so it's gonna take some time. Um, okay, it's done. I heard a bunch of hustling upstairs, so I think it worked. Go see if you can get into into 403 now. All right, so now the race is on. We gotta get into room 403, and uh, we gotta find some evidence we can give to the police to convict Charlie. So. Alright, let's go inside. Ew. Ooh. Oh. There's a broken coffee table with some books. Looks like anything important. Look like anything important. Just looks like junk to me. Alright, keep looking then. There's gotta be something else. Huh? What about the chalk outline that's on the floor? Man, this is pretty twisted. Tell me about it. Ooh. Wait a second. These little figures, it looks like one is missing. I can see a small clearing in the blood. Hmm. That's it! I know how we can get them. Get out of there and come on down to the basement. Huh? Oh! So it had something to do with the ponies for some reason. Sanderson and Charlie both collected those weird toys. They're nuts over those things. Miss Sanderson got the super rare one or something. She was telling me about it that day I was fixing her toilet. Anyways, I bet you Charlie could resist taking it. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's why he offed her in the first place. That dude always gives me the creeps. Just something unsettling about him, you know? Wow, this is crazy. This guy definitely needs to get caught. We can't live in a building with a murderer. Exactly. That's why you gotta get into Charlie's room and see if you can find that toy. Wait, why do I have to do it? I snuck into 403. Charlie isn't too fond of me. There's no way he'd let me in. He's accused me of stealing snacks from his room. Snacks. Fucking fatty. Alright, alright, I'll do it. I won't be able to sleep at night otherwise. Cool. You're the man, Sally. Here, take this baggie. You can slip the toy in without touching it. Why do I get a feeling you've done this before? <laughs> nah, I just watch too much TV. 
<laughs> he just watches too much TV. Oh, I like that. I like that. He just gets it off on the television. Um, a plastic baggie that I can use to grab the pony from Charlie's room. Can I just use the walkie whenever I want as well? Uh, Sally face, my man. Good luck. Oh, <laughs> right here though. Um, so we have to figure out a way to get Charlie out of his room. Um, I'm not really hungry. Can you record something else? Um, hmm. Ooh. Wait a second. I have a small. I have a plan, maybe. Okay. So maybe I just put my mind to get it. It's the sleep aid. This will knock that fast bastard out for sure. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking of doing. Because, yeah. Oh! Because Charlie is one of the adults that asks um, that one creepy guy with a mail slot for tea. And if we give this to him, that'll surely like knock him out just enough time so that we can steal the toy back. So let's go down to floor three. I think that's where he's at. Uh, no, I think it's the wrong room. I think it's 204? I think it's set on the quest thing. Uh, yeah, 204. Okay. Hello, Charlie. Oh, God, I gotta talk to this freak again. <laughs> oh, is that Addison tea I smell? Yeah, I just got some from- Oh, I just love Addison tea. Give it here! Ooh, Look at his face! <laughs> he looks like an octopus! Oh, so tasty. We're so relaxing. And he's out. <laughs> Ooh, got the toy score. I'm out of here. Get the hell out of there. Oh, wait, 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 no, 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 don't go to the basement. We gotta go to, um, give the, 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 the detective. What? Who the hell is the detective? Oh, it's the one guy who's writing in his journal. Isn't he like, yeah, right here, floor one. Hey, detective. Hello, Sal. I've got evidence. Let me see that. This came from Charlie's room. How did you get this? I was just saying hello to my new neighbors, you know, trying to introduce myself to everyone. I was in there talking to Charlie, and he was showing me all of his toys. That's when I noticed one had blood on it. I thought for sure this would be helpful, so I grabbed it with my lunch bag. Well, well, a little detective in training, huh? <laughs> Not bad, kid. I'll hold on to this. Just remember next time, you come to us with this info instead of putting yourself at risk, okay? Yes, sir. You got it. Freaking Larry went to you with info, and you didn't listen to him. Addison Apartments. Oh, we can leave now. Let's go outside then. Oh, good work today, Sal. You can rest easy now. Oh, they convicted. Oh, they're arresting him. Not convicting him, sorry. Arrested him. Oh, I'm innocent, I swear. I thought you were my friend. Oh my god. Oh, that's, that's creepy. He just like around so I looked into the back window of the van oh oh my god he did that to her such a horrific sight for anyone to see let alone a young child as you were 15 years old and you already had witnessed two gruesome scenes it must have been a, tr a very traumatic experience for you sure I guess so and all these years later, the new evidence that finally proved Charlie was falsely accused. After so much of his life spent behind bars, how did that make you feel? I'm not convinced it wasn't him. Yes, so you've said. What about Larry? What about him? Like I've said, the guy was my best friend all through high school. And after high school? We've been over this. I lost touch with Larry after graduation. I don't know where he is now. Oh my, he left? Damn. You seem to be upset by my mention of him. 
I just don't want, I just don't know what good asking the same question all the time is doing. I thought you were supposed to help me. I understand your frustration, Sal. I do. I want to help you, but you seem to be holding something back. I can't help you unless you've complete, you're completely honest with me. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, our time is up for today. Wait. I... It's about Larry. I'm sorry, Sal. You know how strict they are with the schedule. Please keep that thought for our next, next session. Next week will be our last meeting before your trial, so I hope you'll get you'll let me help you. He's behind his mask. I don't think you are a murderer, Sal. Whoa. You might be the only one. He convicted for murder? And that was episode one of Sally Face. All right, wow. I didn't, ex <laughs> I genuinely didn't expect it to be that quick of an episode, honestly. Um, all right, I guess we're gonna end off the episode there. My apologies if this is a quick episode. Um, on the next episode of Sally Face, we're gonna head up chapter two of Sally Face. We're gonna learn more about the backstory of Sally Face, the more about Larry and like their friendship and relationship throughout the years, and then also why sally face is convicted for murder anyways if you enjoy this episode of sally face you can hit that like button and drop a comment to let me know also if you want to see any sort of footage in the future whether it's sally face related or not hit that subscribe button hit that notifications bell it lets you know when i post any videos in the future without further ado thank you very much for watching this episode of sally face stay safe out there people